and welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to do something I have not done at all and that's fly a helicopter. So this should be fun. Feel free to laugh as you like. Now we're going to go uh, out to Alan Burroughs Island which is uh, a product from Rob Strike Studios. And he's the gorgeous, is it Sikorsky 76 this one? It's a pretty nice looking uh, aeroplane this one. So, And I have never flown this thing guys so feel free to have a chuckle at my expense as I'll probably crash into things and stuff so we've got the um uh got the landing gear we've got retractable gear now if you haven't flown one of these before uh if you look top left at the instrument panel there that's our airspeed the one immediately below it there with all the green and the needle moving around that's uh, I think our torque and that controls our lift so that's our collective so if you haven't flown them before and just to note we're in 4k as well guys so you have 4k available get into it uh, so yeah we're gonna have a bit of a shot so what I found or if you haven't flown choppers before cyclic is your left and right and your back and forward as far as your the way you pivot if you push forward you will fly forward and you'll pick up speed as you do that um, you can increase torque you'll get more speed. You see I'm getting a bit of speed up here now as we go across. And this is the second of the two islands. The first island has the airstrip, the camp on it, uh, with the smoke and everything. It has some walking trails, which we'll have a look at in a little while. And this is the second of the two islands. Uh, and here we have a lighthouse and a, uh, well, there's a landing strip or landing helicopter pad there somewhere. Now, I haven't been here yet. I've flown past it and I had the stints and I had a, sort of a quick look but um, it's going to be a different thing coming in, in in the Sikorsky so we'll have a fly around and uh, expect this to take a couple of goes because I think it probably will so uh, let's get back to controls on this if you haven't flown choppers before um, uh, again you have the, the collective which is um, your power and how much pitch that you're getting on the main rotors whether it's lifting you up and down feel free to correct me in the comments if I get this wrong guys because uh, now, I haven't, uh, haven't flown it before, as I've said already. So, so the top gauge there, um, if we can get that back down towards the, the yellow, I think we're probably okay to land if we can get that or below. Um, we've got to put our gear down as well. Um, the rudders work reasonably. Your rudders will uh, move your tail rotor around and uh, it sort of gives you that yaw. But your roll and your pitch is all down to your joystick normally. Now what I f I'm finding really difficult to get my head around is that normally if you push your throttle up you get more power. But in this you don't. Um, set around the middle it seems to be about neutral and if you go f up towards the top you lose your collective. If you come back to the middle you're sort of neutral collective still at max power. I think that's right. So um, it's, it's a it's really doing my head in trying to fly this thing, hence I'm up and down and all over the place. So we'll see how we go. We're going to try and make an approach here and see whether we can't, uh, one, see the landing pad and two, get ourselves on it. Yeah, yeah, there it is. It's, it's just over there. So we've got a couple of buildings and uh, look, the islands, so they have uh, volumetric grass, they have smoke which is affected by the wind, we've got all the rocks, 3D trees and everything there. They look pretty good. And up uh, just trying to stop myself going into the water here. Just trying to get a balance. You can see that I have no speed, but I've got to keep, I'm adjusting my uh, collective, I think it is here on that second dial, just to try and stop myself falling into the water, <laughs> walling around all over the damn place. So uh, let's see how we go. We get a little bit closer. We've got the lighthouse and a couple of other um, outbuildings, you might call it. No, I missed that because I've got too much speed up again. So I've got back on the stick again, back, back on the joystick, trying to get it neutral, and hopefully that'll stop me moving around. The rudders, I can use those to move my, uh, rotate me around in your axis, um, but I'm also going backwards now, so that's not very good, so I'm a little bit too far back. Not overly sensitive, just getting used to running your feet and, and both hands at the same time. Be, if you had a, you're in a real shop, your right hand would probably be on uh, the control stick, which is your cycling, 
and your left hand will be looking after power by rotating like a motorbike control rotating around you create your power I think is right and then you pull up and down on that to give yourself your collective so how much um, ele how much you're going to elevate up if you like if you're going to move up it's a bit like trying to move around in an elevator that's in uh, 3d space you pull up you go up the floors and if you go down you go down the floors but if you turn the power off um, you go down the floors real quick so let's see how we go it's sort of one and a half times around i'll get the gear down um the gear's just over there on the right you can see that uh, red light just come on on the three greens i'm not sure why the three greens don't actually go out they seem to be on all the time but that's uh, looking nice out over the sea there. We've got it towards sunset at the moment. I didn't set a specific time to uh, do the flight. Well, it's just late in the afternoon here when I'm uh, recording this, so it's picked up on, the, on my local time. So let's come around again, give it another go. And that, doesn't it look good in the chopper as well? I would be looking around more for you. But if I fly the chopper a little bit more, then I'll get some better views for you guys and we'll make it a little bit more panoramic and and cin cinematic is the, is the right term and we'll try and make it you can see you can see a little bit more but i tell you my brain's at 120 percent just trying to fly this mongrel thing so we're down to about a right right height let's see if we can work in just below a little up a little down and a little down and oh, oh well that wasn't the right way to get here um but there we are we made it Oh dear. Yeah, it wasn't my best one, but it was my absolute first, guys. So if you can do better than that first time out, feel free to send me a video and show me. I'm happy to watch it. So there we are. Let's have a little look around the, the island. You can see the grass. You can see the trees all look pretty good. A bit of a zip over towards some of the buildings and have a bit of a wander around and uh, around the path. And this is around behind the building a little bit. The lighting's pretty nice as well. Just move through the, the foliage. I don't quite get to push it apart, but you know, in the future, that sort of thing will probably be uh, possible. But it's an old building, looks pretty run down, so I think it's about time we got back in. And what we'll do is uh, we'll fly back over and land back on the runway at, uh, at, at the. Well, I don't know which one's actually our Alan Burroughs, whether they both are, or whether the other's Alan Burroughs, or one's one the other way, I don't know. But I don't think it matters much nice reflections there as well too on the chopper as we uh, lift it up you see the light coming across the uh, the warning panel there pretty nice and across the glass there on the gps that was pretty good so let's get ourselves around get ourselves looking in the right direction and uh, try not to pick up too much speed on the way over and we'll see how we get number two landing okay nose is down a bit we're getting a little speed it does pick up speed pretty quick you can see just lifting the nose to try and counter that increase in speed and uh, just trying to balance it just starting to get to grips a little bit with the, the, the throttle be gentle with it and it's not too bad if you get too heavy handed on it and even hang fisted on it it does seem to want to bite you a little bit so let's get across here now i've got the nose up trying to slow myself down and we're just losing speed a little and i've got the torque right back so it should be descending a little you can see the um, the altitude next to the artificial horizon and our um, descent rate the one underneath it so that's about 500 that's about a thousand feet per minute there as we come down so we need to retard that before we um, become retarded on the runway so coming down all right i'm not sure how we're going to go with trees and foliage and stuff but oh Okay, illegal use of the trees here. Never mind. It's it's only my second try, guys. You can beat me up if you want. <laughs> we'll taxi back over there. It's, it's a nice island, this. This is a great bit of scenery. And it's only four bucks as well, guys. It's four bucks Canadian. Four dollars twenty Oz. Um, if you like a couple of nice islands. And uh, not very far from here, there's another town and another... Um, uh, let's call it an airport. Solid airport that um, you, you can fly to as well and I'm sure we'll end up over there as well it's uh, just a nice area this is um, uh, what's this Washington I think it's it's in the Washington area uh, and uh, I 
just try not to kill myself texting and crossing. Interesting how the um, the blade, the rotation of the blades as well. You know, you get it to pivot forward, and you see the the, the cyclic working as you move the, the joystick around as well. So it's all pretty realistic. Bit of smoke there. There's our there's our um, particle effects at work again, guys. We've done very well with the last uh, 11.30. We're not at full release yet, but I think everybody's probably still on holidays as we do this at the beginning of uh, January of 2019. Been a pretty amazing year. We've gained a lot. We've gained uh, VR support, native VR support for X-Plane. We've got uh, some big changes in aerodynamics, side forces, um, post stall effects, Lots and lots of new airports since we've got uh, the last race. 1125, I think, from there to 1130, we've managed to get somewhere around about 1500 new airports around Australia. So, to all those people out there that create these airports uh, and, uh, and upload them, uh, I think a big thank you from myself and all the community as well. You do uh, fantastic work, you know, Mr. X. And, Probably a lot of people that don't get a mention, but uh, yeah, there's some great work out there. So we're uh, tack, we're all stopped here at the at the camp. So let me show you around the camp if you haven't seen it yet. Um, we've got a, a couple of aeroplanes over there, we've got the Cessna, and we've got the the Baron, and uh, the lighting effects and the grass are all looking pretty good. Let's uh, go over and have a closer look at the camp and. Uh, there's no pretty girls or handsome fellas there, uh, people. Um, <laughs> maybe we'll get some people in the next one. I guess you could always uh, put a few people here if you wanted to, if you wanted to use overlay at a time, I'm sure that may be okay. But yeah, we've got the aircraft there, we've got the, the smoke and the fire going, so everybody's out for a walk in the in the Bondi, no doubt. Someone's uh, brought the Stinson in. Um, that's a good fun aeroplane to fly as well, guys, if you haven't had to go at tail dragging. Go and see my uh, previous couple of videos on tail dragging where I've uh, just started to venture into that as well. It's been quite of an adventure of, of recent times. I've been doing a few different things. I haven't done airliners and the tail draggers. And you can have a walk around the path. Um, you can get all the way around. It will take you all the way around and back to the other end of the runway. And uh, then having a look around, we've got all the rocks. Um, and we got shadow as well. As you come around, you'll notice there's uh, shadow on the island as well. And uh, somewhere else that we're going to be visiting, uh, I would think, sometime in the near future. And we'll do something different there, too. And we'll have a go at uh, some float plane we'll, and see how that works out. So uh, a big nod to the guys at Prop Strike. Uh, this is uh, great. And these guys are only uh, small developers. They only currently have three uh, products out. Uh, they do tell me there's a few more on the way. So that'll be good to see. We'll see what that looks like when they come. And uh, uh, if you're thinking this is not a paid advertisement, um, I just think, you know, for $4, give the guys a good plug and maybe people go out and buy uh, the airports. There's one more as well, uh, Quantum, I think it is, uh, that we probably look at again in the near future as well. But this is uh, pretty good stuff. So there's the runway. Uh, there's uh, an aircraft. Maybe that Stinson's ready to go down there. And uh, so, yeah, if you, if you like the videos, like what you've seen today, please feel free to subscribe, hit the like, send me a comment if you like, come join, uh, come have a look at letsflyvfr.com, uh, have a read around, have a bit of a visit, and I'll see you in the next video real soon. See you then. Bye-bye.